On this video, we're going to look at an introduction to trigonometry. If we're going to spend 15 weeks studying trigonometry or pre-calculus, we obviously need a starting point and need to know what is trigonometry, so that's where I want to begin. Trigonometry is actually a word that is derived from the Greek language. It's a combination of two Greek words. You have trigonome, which means triangle in Greek, and then you have metria, meaning measurement. And so they put the two words together and you have trigonometry, which literally means um, measurement of triangles. Trigonometry is kind of a branch of algebra and geometry that was invented by the Greeks approximately 2,000 years ago because they needed some precise methods for measuring angles and sides of triangles. There are lots of practical uses of trigonometry, and I'm going to highlight a few of those that you might find interesting. Actually, you can you actually use trigonometry within video games. So if you're interested in um, video game programming, you actually do need um, some background in trigonometry. Um, on the game Mario Brothers, when you see Mario trying to glide over or jump over um, a roadblock, he's not really jumping straight up um, and then moving forward in a kind of in an angle, but it's more of a slightly curved path. Um, and trigonometry helps the programmer know how to make Mario move in order to successfully jump over that particular roadblock. So you do even need that for um, video game programming or development. Um, you also um, use obviously lots of trigonometry within construction, um, which also includes engineering and architecture. We Trigonometry is used to calculate um, the measurement of different fields or lots or areas. Um, making sure that the walls of a particular building are parallel and or perpendicular. Um, even installing ceramic tiles involves trigonometry. Um, the roof inclination, how much a roof is slanted and making sure that it's slanted properly. Um, determining the height of a building and the length or the width of the building um, where it becomes necessary to use trigonometry. Also, architectures. Architects use trigonometry to calculate structural load, roof slopes, ground surfaces, um, and things even like sun shading and light angles so that the building um, looks pleasing to the eye um, and looks pretty, if you will. Also, we use trigonometry um, in criminology within forensics um, to look at um, the calculated projectiles to trajectory, whether that's a bullet or an arrow or some sort of ball, um, you can calculate its trajectory using trigonometry. You can estimate what if my, might have caused a collision in a car accident by looking at the angles at which the cars come to rest and the location of where they come to rest. How did an object fall down from somewhere? Like if you happen to have someone who jumps off a building or if something that has fallen off of a building, they can determine the angle at which it fell with and even the velocity and that sort of thing. So you obviously use it a lot in criminology and forensics. Also, um, you use trigonometry. You may, this is was interesting is that in music theory and production, um, looking at the sound waves or if the computer looks at the different trigonometric curves, it can actually create sounds or imitate sounds. Um, sound engineers um, can use the visualization of the sound waves to adjust volume and pitch um, to create certain desired sound effects. Um, also speaker placement within a particular venue, um, whether that's in an auditorium or some sort of a, a arena. Um, become important in the use of trigonometry because the angles of the sound waves hitting the ears and bouncing off the walls can affect or even influence the sound quality. 
obviously navigation that was one of the primary uses um, for the Greeks was um, how to navigate by the stars using astronomy um, electrical engineering um, electrical engineers can model the flow of electricity along the the power lines using trigonometry and also they can model the voltage that's flowing through those long distance wires um, also within engineer with manufacturing manufacturers actually use um, mechanical engineers use trigonometry to determine the sizes and the angles that mechanical parts fit together whether you're making a pair of scissors or a car or whatever um, they're used that trigonometry is used to help determine the angles and sizes in those different tools and equipment so there are two primary perspectives of trigonometry and we're going to focus on both throughout the course we start out initially looking at it from perspective of triangles and focusing on the study of triangles how angles are how angles are created how they're measured and we also begin to look at the ratios of the sides of right triangles which again is the first primary use that was developed by the Greeks and then we extend that information to apply it to functions um, and a lot of things within in the world that are cyclic or periodic like the tides or seasons or even stocks um, follow a um, trigonometric function um, cycle and so we can use trig trigonometry to model those things and make predictions about the stocks or the seasons or the tides so hopefully you'll see throughout the semester maybe some way that you can use trigonometry in your planned career or your planned pathway of study.